the average American household afford to retire? That's what we're going to explore today on Retirement with Louie. Um, I do these videos once a week on Sunday and welcome aboard. Um, so we are going to look at what the median and average uh, rates of uh, savings are and income are for uh, an average American family. Okay, and I've uh, gathered this information from a number of sources, but let's go ahead and look at our test case. All right, here we have uh, our assumptions for um, an average American family. Let's call them Donald and Melania, no relation. But uh, their ages are 44 and 44. Um, their income is 74,580, which is uh, the median family income in America. Their expenses are 6,081 per month, which is uh, the average uh, expense. For a family, let's go ahead and check those stats. Here is the income, 74580 is the median household income. And um, the expenses in retirement, 6081 This is average monthly expenses, not median, and uh, there is a difference there. But let's go ahead and go with that. Uh, the other metric that uh, we probably need to know is how much they currently have saved uh, at the age of 44. Well, um, I looked that up as well. That is 131950 in retirement savings. So there's 131950 and it is ages 35 to 44, so that might be a little low, or perhaps that should be a little higher for a 44-year-old. But I'm going to go with that uh, just to uh, make our assumptions here to see if we can retire. So 131,950. And what else do we need to know? Uh, their contribution rate, I've set at 10%, which is the recommended contribution rate. That may or may not be adequate. And their Social Security um, is based on uh, Social Security uh, SSA. And is uh, the average Social Security check for someone today is um, $1,710. Okay, what, I, what I've assumed here is that uh, one person is getting $1,710. And perhaps the second family member, the uh, significant other, may get less than that. Perhaps they had more family responsibilities. So I have turned that into a family Social Security income of 2,710. And for right or wrong, that's what I have done. Uh, 2,710, uh, well, actually 2,867. So close enough. I'm not sure what the difference was there. But uh, so here we have it, the average American family, um, 44 years old, income of 74,000, expenses of 6,000 a month, uh, with, with housing really being a significant expense these days. And they have put away $132,000 in their 401k or their IRA. They're doing a good job of contributing 10%. And if they stay on track until age 67 in about uh, 20 22 years, 23 years, their Social Security benefit would be 2867 And of course, this would all be adjusted for inflation. So what we're going to do now is go over to this new uh, retirement calculator I found. Um, this one is called a Nerd Wallet, and this is totally free if you want to get a rudimentary uh, review of what your retirement plan will look like. And there are much better retirement calculators, uh, newretirement.com, which I'll tell you about at the end of this, uh, is much more robust. Um, but we'll get to that at the end. But if you just want an ultra-simplified version, here are the parameters. They are age 44. Household income, 74,580. Current retirement savings, 132,000. They're contributing $600 a month. And their expenses are 6,081. Those will probably drop in retirement, okay? And here is their Social Security benefit, assuming that uh, they get there. And uh, Social Security is still paying out at that time, is 2867 So let's go ahead and look at the results here. And here we go. Can, the, uh, can Donald and Melania make it to age 95? The blue line is uh, what they will need. And, uh, well, they're going to have to hit a max 
of a million six uh, to have a chance to make it to uh, 95. Where we're at is $947,000. So the answer to this uh, analysis here is no, not right off the bat. The average American family cannot afford to retire. Uh, poor Donald and Melania. But let's monkey with this a little bit and see if we can make it better. Well, let's put our life expectancy to 90. Okay, I don't want to get greedy on life expectancy. Uh, we've got our rate of return at 6%. I don't want to increase that at all. We've got inflation rate at 3%. Okay. I don't know, maybe you could hope for two, but let's leave inflation at three and income inflation at three. And the only thing I want to play with here to start off with is the uh, monthly budget in retirement. I'm going to drop that by $1,000 because people say you spend less in retirement. So let's go ahead and make that 5081 And look at what a difference that made. Okay, so uh, by conserving about... Uh, well, that's about 18% or so of your expenses in retirement. Now, maybe you've paid off your home. That would help a lot, obviously. But you can actually make it. Um, so uh, there we go. Let's, uh, let's put this back to 6000 And let's increase our contribution to $800. Can we do that? Okay, that pushes us out to age 83 before we run out of money. Not too bad. How about $900? All right, and now we are at uh, age 85. Well, I think this is going to have to be $1,000, more than most people would even consider contributing. Yeah, around $1,000 uh, a month or 16% of monthly income will get you there. But uh, I'm going to go back to $600 because this is an average family. And uh, you know what? They don't have a lot of money left over. Um, and let's just let's put these expenses back to $5,000. Well, uh, yeah, let's put these back to $5,000, which makes the plan work. And a retirement income, um, yeah, I don't think we should mess with that. Now, if they decided to retire early... Um, let's uh, push this down to uh, about 80% of that number. Oh, let's call that about 80% uh, of 3,000 would be 24, about 2,200. Let's say they retire early. This may be interesting to those of you early retirees. And there are, there are issues with health insurance and such that I'm not going to cover here. You can do that in newretirement.com. So what happens if they retire at 62? Holy moly, they only make it to age 74 before the money is out. How about we put that to 65? Well, now they make it to 80. So it uh, looks like they're going to have to go all the way to 67 to have a chance here. Um, so uh, anyway, I hope you found this interesting. The answer to the question, if we put this back to normal, their current expenses which uh, would continue into retirement? The answer is no, they're not going to make it um, with their 132000 and their 10% contribution level unless they do something about expenses. All right, I hope you found that interesting, and Donald and Melania are going to have to uh, think of uh, something else to solve this plan. I would look at expenses, and I would look at paying off that house. Um, here is newretirement.com, a very powerful calculator with a free trial. And uh, in this free trial, you can get, you can change all these metrics um, and put specifics for you, your social security benefits, other pensions and assets, your home, your mortgage, your in your um, return rates, your expense inflation, etc. There's really nothing that this uh, calculator doesn't do. So if you want to get deep deeper into this and try to fine-tune your retirement, check out the free trial at newretirement.com and uh, you can build an entire financial plan in the two-week period they give you and uh, keep it or don't keep it. I keep mine and that's how I know I'm on track to retire in a few months. Um, but uh, how are you doing? And uh, let us know. Uh, let the community know how you're doing. Are you an average American family? And do you track those metrics of how much you have saved? Um, there's a lot of news about you know families not having $1,000 of extra money in the bank and so forth. 
But uh, according to these statistics, um, you know, the average family has saved some money so far and uh, is contributing to their 401k. Is that you or do you have a different story? Let us know. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching Retirement with Louie and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.